everybody today i'm back here with another bedtime story this bedtime story is oi cats oi cats is a very funny book i hope you enjoy this and they're from the creators of oi frog Let's start oh and i almost forgot we have three friends <laughs> who come to listen the story this one's marhaba camel This one's Tayus. This one's Sonic the Hedgehog. And now back to reading. Oi cats. Meow. Oi cats. Oi cat. Remy, Remy. Stay away from the gnat, said the frog. But I hate gnats. Meow. Said the cat. Gnats are all nasty and they and nibbly and they keep biting me on the bottom why do you keep sitting on them then asked the dog why don't you sit Meow. on them instead because the frog has changed the rules sighed the cat remember that's right said mild frog i have changed the rules ribi ribi used to sit on frogs but now they sit on logs and cat used to sit on mats but now they sit on gnats <laughs> <coughs> it's a shame you're not a pony the dog if you're a pony you can sit on some macaroni just my luck side the cat Macaroni won't nibble your bottom," said the dog. "Will you stop talking about my bottom?" said the cat. "Meow." "My bottom is none of your business." <laughs> oh, isn't this really funny? If you were a chick, you could sit on a brick," smiled the frog. "If you were a whale, you could sit on a bowl." What a were a leech you could sit on a peach if you were a duck you could sit on a week well i'm not a chick am i frown the cat yeah or, or a leech or a duck you're a cat said the dog <laughs> on a gnat smiled remy remy and rules are rules if you are an alpaca You could sit on a cream cracker," said the dog. "If you were a mink, you could sit on a sink. If you were an armadillo, you could sit on a pillow, a lovely soft comfy pillow. If you were a lark, you could sit on a shark," said the frog. "Unbelievable," said the cat. "If you were a shrimp, you could sit on a chimp," said the dog. If you were a bunny, oh, you hop, could sit hop, on a bunny. Like a bunny you do a present, when you could sit on a present. If you were a troll, you could sit on a doll. Whatever he sits on, it has to rhyme with cat," said the frog. Perhaps you could sit on a bat," said the dog, "instead of a mat or a gnat." You could sit on a cricket bat, or a baseball bat, or a softball bat. Bats sit on bats," said the frog. One of the frogs reading, "Oi, frog!" Actually, that's a bat. And one's reading a newspaper. One's knitting. What if you were a kitty instead of a cat? Said the dog. If you were a kitty, you could sit on something pretty, like a pretty flamingo or something sparkly, bows or some lovely colourful streamers. Dingoes sit on flamingos, crows sit on boats, and lemurs sit on streamers. Said the frog. How about a mog? Said the dog. If you were a mog, you could sit on a cog or a plog. Oh, this is a great rhyming book. Hogs sit on clocks," said the frog. 
and cogs when there's a shortage of clogs. Wait a moment, smiled the cat. If I was a mog, I could sit on a... Step away from the frog, frowned the frog. Yes, no one can sit on a frog, nodded the dog. It has to be something that rhymes with frog or mog or clog or cog. Hmm, said the cat. What else rhymes with mug, frog, clog, and cog? Let me think. Hmm. Quog, yog, sog, pog, gog, jog, bog, rog, tog, wog, zog. Dog, said the dog. Dogs rhyme with frog, mug, and clog, and cog. So does it, smiled the cat. So it does, clapped the frog. I wish I hadn't said that, said the dog. You ready to me to flip the flap? Lift the flap. In three, two, one. You were excited to see what's underneath. Let me show you. Oh dear. It's not something scary. The cat sat on the dog. The cat is happy. This is the best place for a cat. But dog's not happy. Cat is using the dog's head as a mat. For cat, it's better than gnat. Great pick was this. And the laughter never ends with Oi Frog and Friends. There's an Oi Frog book. There's an Oi Dog book. An Oi Cat book, which we are My reading. Friends are ready. Are you ready? Good night. I'll see you with another story and much more. Good night. Goodbye. Oh, <sighs> <sighs>